Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, to start with Zoom app, first we have to install it uh, from Google Play Store or um, Apple um, App Store. Um, after downloading and installing it in your phone, uh, you have to do uh, is to open it. After opening the app, you have to sign up for the first time. The, for the very first time when you open it, you have to make an ID. Uh, and for that purpose, you have to sign up. I'm pressing sign up. So uh, it is asking for verification. Please confirm your date of birth. I'm going to make it as October 7. Set. Now I have to put a email address. Then you have to put your first name. and agree to the terms of services. They are saying that they have sent an email to verify your account. So you will open your Gmail. Now when you have uh, made it up, then you will open Gmail to see if there is an email received by Zoom. So now, uh, as you can see, there is no email here, so you will open promotion. It sometimes resides in spam folder and now, um, when I have seen, I have double checked it, it's blank in promotion. It's an uh, email received by Zoom. So I will press this activate account button. When I will press it, it will take me to the Google Chrome. Now they have written our first name and last name already and now we have to choose only the password here. Your uh, password should contain at least 8 characters um, and there should be one letter, one alphabet and small and capital as well so I will be making it like capital T A I B A 1 2 3 4 so you see all of it is green so I have used uh, an uppercase like capital T small a small b small i small a and then 1 2 3 4 Continue. I was actually um, in, in this phone. I um, I couldn't understand if it is capital or smaller, so I I have problem while making it capital and small. Now and just forget it. Skip this step. Now when we have activated it, uh, we will open Zoom app again. And we will sign in instead of sign up. We will enter email address as this and password as signing in. It will take a while. So now I have made it up to here. Um, whenever you are receiving any email, join email meeting ID and password, you will join from this button. And if you have to start your own meeting, you will press new meeting. Start a meeting.
I can stop video as well. As well as I can mute it from here. There are buttons right on, uh, at the bottom of the page. And you can share everything you can want. Uh, allow, uh, you will have to allow it. And send some picture. For example, this one. And if you have to show it to the audience, you will keep it. And uh, if you want, uh, do not want to share it anymore, you will stop share from here. And you can share document like there if there are any PDF here. Then you can Dropbox, Google Drive. These are none of your use. And web URL. Web URL is in is a link to YouTube or is a link to any web page screen if you want to share your screen so uh, when you have to share your screen you will uh, do it and start now and you can you have to allow it okay now we can also share our whiteboard share whiteboard this is pencil we can draw anything we want and we can change its color red yellow green blue and use eraser uh, also we can make a pointer so that wherever my finger moves you can see so if I might have to point here you can see here you can see also I can clear my drawings, clear all drawings or clear others drawings. For example, if I shared the whiteboard and allowed all participants to draw or a specific participant to draw, uh, I can also clear his or her drawings. Now clearing others drawings, clear all drawings and Smart recognition is, uh, for example, if you tie, um, draw Z and it recognizes it and makes it, uh, if it was not uh, in correct formation, it will make it correct. And save it to album and a new whiteboard. If uh, one has been used and you want to use another, you can use it. Okay, closing it and stop sharing the whiteboard. This is how you're going to use whiteboard and for the students so that they would know how to use it how to do something a particular thing and the next point is to join a meeting that is already held by someone else and you have to just join it in the previous um, thing we were uh, learning how to initiate our meeting host a meeting by ourselves and invite other people to our meeting now um, I have to join a meeting by um, held by someone else I will click this join button and write the meet, meeting ID here in the top okay there will be a meeting ID provided by the person who uh, you are going to join so you will uh, write the meeting ID here and just join the meeting if it will ask you for the password you will enter the password as well and don't connect to audio turn off my video this is your choice you can do whatever you want then come schedule you you can schedule a meeting so uh, for example if you have to um, give a lecture tomorrow at 10 a.m. you will make a uh, my class 2 lecture I will say as a class 2 lecture English right okay date so I'm gonna make it April 10 2020 from 10 a.m. has a 40 minutes time limit on meetings with more than three uh, with three or more participants so you can uh, make it to 40 minutes only uh, because if you are gonna make it longer than 40 minutes you will have to purchase uh, the full upgraded version of this app but you are not supposed to do it you can make it to 40 minutes so your lecture would not be more than 40 minutes so you will start it with at 10 and end it by 10 40 so far so you can make it half an hour a 10 minutes or whatever you want set okay 
time zone I already set repeat never if you want to repeat it a uh, daily basis you can you want to do it on daily basis you will make it every day every week every two weeks every month every year okay meeting password if you want to allow uh, make it uh, have a, a meeting password you will turn it on otherwise you can turn it off so that everyone can enter it uh, it's better not to use a password but it is good to use a password as well if you want to make it secure post video on if you want to be uh, turning your video on when everyone enters you can turn it on and if you want don't want you can turn it off As participant video you can turn it off for the people who will come if you want to see your students you can turn it on audio option you can select device audio telephone telephone and device audio. this is better to use <coughs> telephone and device audio and then comes advanced options enable waiting room i told you about a waiting room that uh, whenever someone joins the, uh, through the link you will enable them to wait in the room until you admit them you have to admit anyone who comes admit there comes a button here uh, in where the participants are waiting in the room allow join before host uh, if you want to allow them to join before you start them you come in so you can join uh, allow them as, as well mm, automatically record meeting if it uh, if you want to make it um, stay with you the meeting stay with you you can automatically record meeting record location you will have to select uh, the space where you want to save it add to calendar you can add it to your comp your phone's calendar that your meeting is scheduled for this day or that done So now it's scheduling for tomorrow at 10. I can at any time cancel it. Allow. So now you it will uh, automatically open it and you can send to anyone you want if the link and the password if there is no password we have not selected any password so there is no password here. So if you want to send it to someone like any email you can type here. So making it back back start meeting add to calendar add invite delete meeting you can also delete the meeting held uh, you have decided to make it tomorrow okay then you can edit it as well cancel it okay when tomorrow 10 topic meeting id duration start meeting add calendar add to calendar add invitees invitees are the the ones who are going to uh, and get invite it uh, like a gmail you can invite them via gmail messenger messages copy to clipboard if you will copy to clipboard you can paste it on your whatsapp in any chat so it's uh, better to copy or uh, copy to clipboard and uh, paste wherever you want so you can paste it in gmail as well then you can paste it in a messenger and uh, wherever you want now canceling it and uh, there is a meeting So I have uh, this personal meeting ID. I can start. I can send in the invitation and edit it. So I'm opening it and deleting this meeting because I am not holding any meeting. So this is the meeting. If you want to start any meeting with anyone, you can start it from here. Send invitation and edit it. contact uh, enable your uh, phone's contact you will type your number here the one who is using this app you will uh, the one uh, the person will type his or her number here i'm not typing any number here so then comes external contact start and whatever it is and these are the settings so this is your profile you can select a profile photo from here display your name we have decided this name personal note anything you want to tell everyone about you your yourself update password you can change the password of your app department you can set your job title department location um this is personal meeting id pmi is not none of your uh, requirement uh, then call in country user type user type can be and this is basic because we have not upgraded it use fingerprint id to not use it so this is all and then comes contact and then comes meeting 
auto connect to audio you can auto connect to audio or use internet always mute my microphone my microphone then you can say always turn off my video so that everyone whenever you uh, join any meeting or um, uh, held any meeting uh, you will, your video will be powered off and show non video participants there are a lot of options you can see closed captioning use original sound uh, these are none of your requirement so far so meeting settings can be done from here mm-hmm. show name when participant join you can do it so that you can know okay who is coming and who is going auto copy meeting link so when you will create um, start a meeting you will be your meeting link will get copied to yourself and you can paste everywhere you want use original sound you can use original sound okay these are the settings this is chat so include link preview all messages receive notification you want to receive all, all messages only private messages or mentions not saying it's with except for channels or okay keep all unread messages on top show unread messages count for channels uh, these are the chat notifications or anything about chat you can also make it disable when in meeting so that uh, if anyone send you message during meeting you will not get any notification do not disturb mode is when you are sleeping or something like that start at first unread uh, start at the first unread and uh, start at, uh, at the least this is there is nothing to do with you message notification settings these are the me- message notification settings so this is how you are going to use it okay you can add contacts from here by email address by ph- from phone contacts okay you can add people from here and uh, this is how you are going to use zoom app this is all i have to tell you uh, you can in, in follow these steps to use it and you can um, check it out what else you can do it so now uh, if you want to sign out so that you can um, sign in whenever you have to use it you can this red written sign out yes okay back to the home page closing it 